How's it going? It's Apoc, or Brandon, whatever you want to call me. I'm back with another Lens Studio tutorial and a script that's being publicly released, so if you want to use it, feel free. I'm going to teach you how to use it right now, and the first thing you have to do is go into the description, or wherever you're finding this, there's probably a link somewhere, to find this pastebin link, and just open up the pastebin link, and you'll see this script here. Now at the top, I just want to mention that I put my socials here, so we have YouTube, Discord, Snapchat. I'm actually going to add my Twitter before I release this. So if you want to message me on any of those things, feel free to do it. You just want to hit Control A here and Control C to copy it or just highlight it on, copy it, however you want to do that. Command A, Command C on Mac. Now come into Lens Studio and add a new resource and click on Script. I'm actually going to rename this to Date Countdown. You don't have to rename it to anything, it doesn't matter, but just to keep things organized, I'm going to do that. All right, now you want to paste your script in here. Sometimes you have to right click and hit paste because this script editor sucks and uh, yeah, it's glitchy sometimes. So after you paste it, apply changes and now you're done with that. This uses labels, so you can add a label that's in a 3D scene if you want to or you can add a billboard label, which is what I'm going to use. Now these billboard labels get added as a really huge font size. So I'm gonna change it down to 10. Another thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the default text so I don't, so it doesn't show up um, when it starts. Now you wanna add a new object. If you don't see it in here, just scroll all the way up to the top and you'll see empty object. And take your date countdown script, drag it into here, it will make a script component. Now you're gonna see the label here. You need to click on that label. So I just clicked right here then find wherever your label billboard or your label is and just click on it to select it and now it's added to the script. As you can see it's going to say countdown done which is what shows up when the countdown finishes by default at least and uh, yeah so it's saying that because the date was set to like it looks like November 30th 1899 or something so uh, we're actually going to change this to Christmas 2018, so we're going to go the 12th month of the year, the 25th day. Also another thing, you might have seen a lot of Christmas countdowns because I initially released this only to the OLCs and they just went crazy making these Christmas countdowns. And um, yeah, so a lot of them released it. Just a little side thing there. Anyway, so the year is 2018. So as you can see, you just sort of enter all these values here. So month, 12, day, 25, year, 2018. You can do hour, minute, second, all the way down to the millisecond. Um, and that's where it stops. So uh, it will start counting down. So what it looks like. And if you want that to do something on the end, I'll show you how to do that real quick. You just open up your script again. And you can see right here at the top, there's a countdown finished function. And right below it, it says add your own functions code here to run when the countdown is over. Remove the next two lines. So you can remove these two lines if you want to, or you can keep them there. It doesn't matter. So right here where it says script.label.tech equals countdown done is what you can change this to whatever you want it to say when the countdown finishes. Or if you just want it to be blank again when it finishes, then just change it to like a space or something, you know. If there's any other things you want to do, you probably would have a global function you want to run. So you can just do like... Uh, global dot my function and call that function that you set globally that's one idea anything you want to do here just put it all in the countdown finish function cool so yeah that's really it everything's working good and you want to make sure your scene object here with the script is below your label so you should probably just put it at the end because the label has to exist before it is for uh, for it to actually use it uh, and you also make sure this is running when initialized uh, you can also make it run on tabbed or whatever you want, really. It's probably best if you want to initialize, though. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, the link to this script is in the description. Feel free to reach out to me for help, suggestions, or bugs uh, that you find. I haven't had time to test this a lot for every hedge case and whatever. Uh, no one's reported any problems with it yet, but, of course, there might be some problems. I also just want to mention, read the uh, console here. You can see that there is a reminder that this uses 24 hour time format. So like three o'clock would be like 15 for the hour instead of three. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace.